Hey, Master Gardeners, eh, I'm out here again chasing bugs in the squash plot here. And sure enough, we've got squash, not squash vine borer, we've got squash bugs, which is a true bug. So come on over, let's take a look. I got a nymph and an adult. Uh oh, he just, that adult just flew away. Little rascal. Here's the little nymph. He's kind of grayish. He's got black legs. Little black legs. We're going to show you some nymphs over on the plant itself. Here's what the adult looks like. This one happens to have, we put him in the water and float him, but there's little lines on his back of his abdomen that kind of indicate what he is. This is a real common insect. I get him in my attic all the time overwintering in my, try to climb in my clothes and stuff up in my attics. It's like this squash bug, but come on over here on the squash plants. Let's take a look. These are common in anybody's garden who grows squash. So here's a bunch of nymphs. I'm gonna roll it over. Hopefully you can see these little nymphs moving around on here. They're kind of grayish in color. So there's gray, some of them are green, but they have black legs. And then here's the insect eggs. Let me show you, this is what you have to do. You gotta cut them off. They're really hard to crush. So let me lay them down for you. You can see, see what those eggs look like. Here's another one with a little nymph on it. So to remove these, just take a knife or a pair of scissors and cut these out of your garden. That's the best control. They're gonna overwinter in debris. You gotta keep your garden clean. To try to spray and kill these once they become adults, it's very hard to control them. So the better thing to do is just keep your garden cleaned up. In the latter part of the season, you're always gonna get these squash bugs. They do suck on the leaves. They cause a stippling effect. I'm sorry I didn't find uh I should have looked before, but some stippling here on the foliage. See these whitish little sections? This is where somebody sucked the juice out of the back of the leaves. So that could be stuck stippling as a result of this guy. Here's another, since we just found them on this, there's some other splotches that are indicating stippling, which is from an insect sucking. So that's what they do. They suck it, and if they're in great numbers, your leaves might get yellow on your plants. But just try to cut the eggs off. Inspect, get out here, do your IPM inspect your plants and cut those out with a pair of scissors or what the homeowner here has been doing is cutting them off and throwing them in a pan of soapy water. So that's your squash bug rundown. Go searching.